Well, I was uh, obviously uh, concerned about the fact that we played three games in Maui and didn't leave till Friday. Didn't get back till almost 10 o'clock Friday night. Um, to have to turn around and play today was was tough, but uh, I thought the guys, their energy level was great. I was proud of them. They responded well to it. We're just trying to, trying to get better every day, trying to become a more efficient team at both ends. I thought our defensive energy was really good at times. We're still, still practicing our rotations. Um, you know, I know obviously Jaime's had an excellent game. He played, he had no turnovers and he's seven for 10. Um, but I'm, I, I thought the thing I liked to see the most tonight was Sharif. Um, I thought his defense, he'll, he'll get better in time with his turnovers and he, he gets excited when he gets the ball too much. I think he had a couple travels. But his defensive rotations are getting better. Um, that's going to be big for us going forward. We've got, we've got to become a, a team that can stop somebody. So you're not going to get 93 every night. Be nice to get 93 every night. Be all for it, but I don't know how realistic that is. Uh, um, for first eight half court baskets, you had assists on, and, and against Michigan State, you had five assists for the game. So, how, how happy were you with sharing the ball, ball movement, and early, particularly? If we could stop traveling and throwing it to the other team, uh, our offense is pretty good. Uh, now, I will say this you know, they were playing zone. So zone, sometimes teams do you a favor when they play you zone um, because you, for, you have to pass the ball, less dribbling against zone. Zone forces, zone defense forces passing on offense. And when we do it, we're a better team. Um, when, we, uh, when we're in our man-to-man -man offense, we've got to get, you know, a lot of that has to do with the team with Michigan State. Um, but in our man-to-man -man offense, we're still finding a comfort zone still trying to get to the point where he moved the ball better. But I would tell you in that game, uh, Cody missed a point blank one and had two point blanks blocked. And we had two, two where Tiger could have laid it in. He threw lobs, five layups. You're not, you know, in a game like that, you got to convert those. So uh, that was what it was. But uh, I would say their zone force, team zone you. It, it, as a coach, sometimes you're happy because it forces your guys to move the ball. And when our offense stuck, it's we threw one pass to the high post and shot it right away. When we kept, when we didn't do that, we tried to work, keep working it. We found a cutter for a layup almost every time. Because only the first half we had 46 points. We only took two threes. Hey, coach. Hey, Trey. How you doing? Welcome back. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, on defense, it seems like you were maybe doing a few more things. It seemed like the defense extended a little bit out on yeah, the ball, and more, there was right. a hedge. A couple of hedges I thought Trapping, I saw. Actually. Trap, yeah. Is that something you're just going to keep trying to layer in? Yeah, you know, as the season goes on, we try to, you, you, I think you got to dance to every song they're playing to win the dance contest. So I don't, I, you know, I'm a big believer you got to change, you got to be able to change. You can't just play pick and roll defense one way. You got to be able to play some zone when you need it. Um, so this was a game we thought was a perfect time for us to work on trapping the pick and roll, being more aggressive, denying some entries, getting out in the passing lanes. How do you think your big men did against, they had a pretty challenging big guy down there. It was kind of He's loaded. a big dude, isn't he? Yeah. I, I would thought, big fella, dove, when he dove for that loose ball, man, I was worried for Tiger. <laughs> in front of their bench in the second half. Tiger was already on the floor. When that guy dove, I, I thought, oh, no. <laughs> I thought we, we may never see Tiger again. <laughs> but no, he's a big guy, but he's two for 14. So we forced him into some tough ones. Not sure how big of a fan you are of plus minus, but Jaime had plus 40 in just 20 minutes, which seems mind boggling. Well, he doesn't turn the ball over. He doesn't take bad shots. Doesn't get beat on defense. He's engaged mentally. He's a, a great building block for us. Tremendous building block for our program. Um, as you continue to ease uh, David back into the rotation, do you see him uh, playing more alongside Tiger in the future? Or it's tough because of the defense. 
neither one of them are going to win any defensive awards. And that doesn't mean they're not trying. It's just size, lack of quickness. Um, neither one of them is a great ball hawk on the ball. Um, so it's, it's tough for us to play those two together defensively. And then uh, go, going back to the travels, Coach. Doesn't mean they won't ever do it. But go ahead. Uh, yeah, the, the travels, obviously any turnover is costly, but do you feel like uh, travel is more in your control, more fixable on, on well, your end as a coach? you know, I feel like a dead ball turnover, you can get back on defense. Live ball turnovers, you have no chance. You get killed. You live ball turn to Live ball turnovers on the road, you get beat 20. So I think, you know, in, in the case of our guys, uh, just got to take our time. Sometimes we, we're hell-bent on making an assist or a hard play. And I'm, you know, we've worked hard since April 9th when I got here, uh, defining what it, doing the easiest thing is, whether and sometimes it's shooting. Uh, it's not always try to make an assist. Sometimes it's just give the ball to the other guy and then give it to you. But that's where zone forces you to. Some zone forces you to have some ball movement, which helps. When we do that, it helps us. So I just got to keep teaching these guys, you know, you don't always have to make an assist. Or you don't, you can, we can just move the ball, keep moving the ball. It's all part of the process. But I think, you know, with Sharif's case, he just gets excited. He's got to slow down, he gets happy feet. Last two. Um, Coach. Jalen as well. Coach, uh, Arizona and Oregon State had already played this team before. Um, was that on your mind uh, coming into today's game? Nah, I got enough problems with them in my life. <laughs> uh, I do, you know, scouted. We obviously watch the film, use it for strategy. Some of the things that those teams did that hurt San Jose State. Is the point differential that they put up something that you use as a benchmark? No, we don't talk about other teams. Last question. You guys had a busy opening stretch, a lot of games in November. Do you like this December schedule, five games kind of spread out? Do we even have five? Can we have five? Four, I'm thinking before Christmas. So four before Christmas. Um, yeah, it's just that, you know, with finals and the new, the rules change when they, when they put in the mandatory off days for Christmas, which I was a big fan of for the players. Um, it used to be when I, right back when I was an assistant at Louisville, we played Kentucky on December 26th. So we were in two a days on Christmas Eve and Christmas. So it was just different. But now with the mandatory break at the holiday, combined with the finals break, you're not going to play a lot of games in December. So it forces you to play a lot of games in November. It's just kind of the way college basketball is right, you know, the way, the way it has been. Uh, and they're not going to change it. So it uh, gives you more practice time in December to get better because now you have games and you can try to look at your team. Like, for instance, our pick and roll coverage, what's going to be the best way for us as a team to do it? Trying to figure out, you know, the best lineups for our team, the best strategies for us to get the, you know, who to get the ball to and where and when. So you have, a, obviously, a, a cluster of games now. You can watch film as a staff and try to get better in December. You have to, because it's a lot harder to win games after Christmas. Because every, everybody gets in there and figures out who should be playing, who shouldn't. What should, you know, everybody at least becomes tougher to beat. They may not become a great team, but they become tougher to beat. You know, there's a lot of good coaches out there. Thanks, guys. Thank you.